Day mean to KGV? This is a really significant day for KGV. This is this is the culmination of, of months and months of hard work, but it's also symbolic of a fresh start, a relaunch of the college. We've we've had a difficult year, and I think everyone's aware of that. Ofsted have given us a tough time. Um, but we're coming out of that. Um, our recent monitoring visits have been really positive, have shown that um, we're now supporting students, we're teaching students really well, um, and we see a bright future ahead. And this, this building and the facilities is symbolic of that relaunch of KGV. Um, we move on. Many of you will be aware that we, um, we got slightly on the wrong side of Ofsted last year, and it left us with uh, a lot of um, a lot of things, a lot of plans to put in place to bring this college back to where it should be, and that is now a standing education establishment. In the in the six nine months that have gone since then, um, a tremendous amount of effort has gone in, a fantastic amount of effort from everybody within the college, everybody associated with the college, and I am pleased to say that that is reflected in the monitoring visits that Ofsted have carried out since that day and we are definitely seeing the return of outstanding teaching to this, to this college and it's, it, it is with tremendous efforts and we, we actually look forward to Ofsted coming in again in the, probably in the, just in the new year and it's a message to anybody who's a parent, a student who's already enrolled, a student who's thinking of enrolling, there has never been a better time for creative arts in KGV. And there's never been a better time to come and study at KGV. Hilary, tell me your thoughts today. I'm so excited and happy for the college. Well done, Adele. Well done, the governing body. This is long overdue. KGV deserves it so much and you can see I'm so excited and happy. I haven't been around the building yet but I've been in the lecture theatre just and I was just saying to Adele next time I come to a concert I won't have to sit on an uncomfortable chair in that old hall. I'll be able to sit in that wonderful theatre space on those comfortable chairs with tiered seating and the professional um, the whole thing. It's fabulous and I'm now going to go around the art department and all the other uh, facilities here and media and I'm just delighted they deserve it so much congratulations KGV I'm over the moon over the moon okay, I, think, I think many many times today that the difficult times that we've had have been have been referred to um, but I think we, we all we all believe now that we're moving out of those difficult times um, Ofsted is seeing really positive things um, about our work with students, our support for students, um, because this is all about students and getting things right for students. And this building today is a fabulous space for young people to learn, to enjoy, to thrive and to succeed. And I think this building has to be symbolic of what KGV is going to become in the future. So if you'd like to now go to the drama studio and enjoy some refreshments. Thank you very much. Marie Francis, you're the new vice principal here at KGV. Tell us, tell us all about yourself. Well, 
I currently am a head of division at an outstanding college in Burnley in East Lancashire and I was looking for a new challenge, looking for an opportunity to lead a quality improvement plan. My master's degree is in educational leadership and school improvement and I have a real keen interest in quality and outstanding quality in teaching and learning. So I knew about KGV as a college and I was surprised when I'd seen the uh, Ofsted inspection reports and raised my eyebrows really in wonderment of how this situation had come about and when I saw the job advertised for a vice principal performance management it seemed to me the perfect opportunity to rekindle my interest in the college and to exercise my area of expertise and my passion for educational excellence. So my background is as a drama teacher, performance, performing arts, communication studies, English. Um, I've worked in this country and in America uh, in further education and higher education. Currently live in Accrington over in Lancashire so I've got a little bit of a commute to get here but it's a lovely drive. The uh, coastline is beautiful and I'm really excited to be starting the new job a week on Monday so I don't know what else you might want to know about me. What change or difference do you reckon your presence will make? What, what, what will the students or parents notice that you're hopefully going to do that isn't going on at the college at the moment? Okay, I think because I work in an outstanding organisation, I've become very used to what outstanding looks like and feels like culturally for the staff and academically, creatively, environmentally for the students. It's very, very normal for me. So. I'm hoping to be able to bring that culture with me and I think that students and staff and parents, visitors, stakeholders will see a raising of expectations and once we believe that we can deliver outstanding and that's what we expect, everything moves in that direction so that's what we'll see and that's what I'm going to be leading and I'm really looking forward to it. Your background in drama you mentioned, you must be really chuffed with this new building. Absolutely, couldn't wait to get in and have a look at the performance theatre and actually when I got here, Linica School were rehearsing so I couldn't get in. So I went up into the control box and managed to get a look at the technology we've got up there as well, so best of both worlds. It's, there's nothing more to be gained by studying drama academically but emotionally and in terms of your communication skills I believe it opens the doors to all sorts of pathways in life. Being a good communicator is vital in this day and age and so I will, I will champion drama and performing arts here but every other subject ticks big boxes for me as well because I see the value in them all. Well, welcome to KGV and welcome to Southport. Thank you very much indeed. Really, really looking forward to it. It's nice to meet you and great to be in this new build today. Thank you.